everyone, and welcome to the Linux Action Foe. My name is Chris. And my name is Angela. Now, the Linux Action Foe isn't a real show. It's a social experience because I use that as a pretense not to look at you, but actually look at the chat room, which I happen to have full screen on my screen. I have it on my negative in the freedom dimension iPad. And of course, it's over on a computer that's also negative in the freedom dimension that we look at ourselves with. Mm -hmm. But of course, the most important thing is it's in the lower third, the best lower third on the internet, where we have condensed the chat room down into this lower third bar, where we also hide our beverages. All right. Well, Chris, um, I have a runs Linux for you. Well, what runs Linux, Angela? I run Linux. What? There I am. <laughs> my daily booth picture for today. That's you, yeah? I ran Linux today. Did I you ran... take that picture from Linux? Oh, I did not. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that would have been swell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but this episode is packed full of uh, faux Linuxy goodness yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Uh, so first, we're going to cover some of the top threads submitted to the Linux Reddit. That's right. Some of the number one voted stories ever. Actually, to the Linux Action Show Reddit. Yeah, the Linux Action Show. Yeah, true. Um, and then we are also uh, going to talk about my little uh, dabble in Unity. Yeah, your first hands-on experiences. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard these yet either. I've been waiting for the show to find out what your, what your thoughts were on using Unity for the first time. And then a quick tip on how to run uh, or how to easily run Minecraft on, on Linux. Wow. I know. Wow, that's a heck of a show. Mm -hmm. But of course, we have a sponsor, don't we? We do. We should talk about our sponsor. Yeah. Um, you yeah. know, the sponsor for <laughs> Linux Action Foe is Bacon. Bacon. Bacon, Linux Action Show, or Linux Action Foe is brought to you this week by Bacon. Now, of course, uh, Baconlicious.us uh, helps you add bacon to any website you want. Now, the uh, sponsor, when they contacted us, wanted us to demonstrate for you mm -hmm. a way you could add bacon to any website you might want. For example, here we've added to jupiterbroadcasting.com. It, it looks great to me. Uh, but also, uh, it is the election year, after all. Perhaps you want to spice up some politics. Because, Why not add it to? Exactly, because you haven't seen enough about politics. Let's go to the whitehouse.gov. Put some bacon on whitehouse.gov. Of. You don't need to look at that. There Just you put go. some bacon over it. Who's the president? I don't know. Piece of bacon. <laughs> Piece of bacon. You know what? I'd vote bacon. Vote bacon. So check out our sponsor, bakealicious.us. And we'll have a link well, actually, in the show it's, notes. It's bakealicious. Yeah. It, but it's not .us after oh, that. Oh, right. Because it's, it's the part yes, of the us. Right. Boy, so be hope, sure you get that right. Boy, yeah. I hope they're not mad. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. I'd hate to lose the sponsor. It's a yeah, really important yeah, one. Absolutely. All right. Well, so uh, go check them out and then uh, we'll. Uh, You'll uh, enjoy bacon on some sort of website that you want to put it on. All right, Angela, let's do the news. All right. Now, uh, of course, uh, we said we were going to go through the show, the stories that were uh, voted mm -hmm. up in the uh, Linux Action Show subreddit. Angela, so what is our first news story this week? Well, the first news story that was put on the uh, Linux Action Show Reddit, <laughs> I just just not to be confused with the foe that's going on right now, uh, is how real people will use Windows oh, 8. Oh my gosh! Which now actually. You know, obviously it has nothing to do with Linux per se, but uh, it's a really interesting video yeah, it is. And it's that, be, that we'd like to share with you. I'm, I'm, I'll apologize. I, we won't have audio for it because uh, I think it's a, yeah, it's an ad rev video. See, so it's playing an ad. So mm -hmm. I can't, if we play the audio, we might get our video taken down. But everybody has saw, this is like one of the reasons it was like the number one video on the Linux Action Show subreddit, is you're probably all familiar with that uh, video of Chris Perillo showing his his dad, who who looks like he's probably like maybe in revealing his... revealing... Yeah, like for the Windows first 8. time, like, hey, dad, check out Windows 8. L tell me what you think about it. And what's what's hilarious about this video, because it, I think it really does sum up like what the vast majority of users are going to run into. Like, he's like, oh, okay, so this is Metro, but I want to do something, so let me click on this desktop thing. He clicks on the desktop, and then he spends the four minutes of this video trying to figure out how, how to, to get, get back... back. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure that when I saw it, I think I had the same problem. Yeah. Like, yeah, it is It is just some, it's something else. He literally spends the entire video trying to figure out how to get back in the Star Menu. He eventually res resorts going to uh, Explore and trying to just find it in Explore. And well, the subreddit just ate this up. So without giving too much uh, away, I will have you know that I was not lost in Unity today. Okay, not, all right. Not like this. That's a good tease. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> not that it's Linux related at all, but it is right. kind of a, uh, it is kind of funny just because I think the challenges Windows 8 is going to suffer will bring people over to Linux, mm -hmm. and I think that will be kind of a sort yeah. of it, I don't know if it's going to be like a watershed moment but I think it'll be at least an important moment and Windows 8 today was just released to TechNet and MSDN subscribers oh. and an evaluation version of the final bits is now available to download so if you want a lot of flat tiles on your screen 
for some reason. <laughs> All right, Andrew, what's right. the next story? Uh, the next story is, so that's it for Thunderbird. Womp, 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 womp. No more support, or no more updates, just uh, like grandfathered in support? Mm, yeah, like kind of like um, security and bug fixes, maintenance mm-hmm. only, no more new major features. And uh, boy, the Linux Action Show subreddit, they were like, oh. I bet. Like it was like I a bet. whole community like, oh. Yeah. Because uh, this is a really great email client. Now that said, if they keep it compatible with new operating system updates so they just keep it running Mm -hmm. and they fix security issues uh it's kind of good where it's at it's not like emails changed a lot in the last 10 years right so it's not like your email client needs to change a lot true so it could be a good thing all right uh the next one uh is a big announcement or at least confirmed announcement because it's been a rumor for yeah. Years? This next one was the number one story of all time in the Linux Action Show subreddit. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Valve, the Valve blog announcing that Steam is going to be released for Ubuntu. Yeah. And uh, you said Ubuntu. Don't you mean Linux? Because you're like, you know. That's- well, no, I mean, that's what I think a lot of people think. That's yeah. what a lot of the community well, that's thought. What I, that's what uh, I said when I saw and it. And they're just targeting Ubuntu. Right. That's what it is. And so it was interesting, though, that you immediately picked up on that because you know that Ubuntu is not Linux in general. Right. Um, but this is still huge news regardless, and people will port things over and get things working on other distributions right away. And Valve themselves has stated that they eventually intend to do that th- directly. Mm-hmm. Uh, but this is really the beginning of something really big, and, and now we've been following almost on a weekly basis on the actual Linux Action Show. Mm-hmm. The huge actual, deal. And we've the had the uh, faux Linux Action Show. Yeah, we had the guy that runs uh, Phronics.com who's been following the story since before it was a story, and uh, he talked about it, and he too thinks it's a big deal, and he thinks they're going to make a set-top box. Mm. So it's all, you know, there's almost a story every week about uh, about uh, Valve there in the uh, in the Linux Action Show subreddit. All right, Andrews. Well, uh, if I uh, if I may say so, I believe that's all the news for this week. Okay, Andrews. What were your impressions? Getting your hands on all Unity. Right. What did you think? Okay. Uh, it's really strange, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, okay, I know I'm going to get a lot of heat. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it it's very similar. It, it felt very similar to OS X. Oh, really? Yeah, I really did feel like, you know, it has the sidebar. Uh, yeah, yeah. That is, it's similar to the dock. And the buttons are kind of on the uh, left side, kind of like the Mac are, right? That's kind of Mac-ish. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, overall, I really enjoyed it. And I do compare, I do want to compare running a different operating system it it felt very similar to um, playing Minecraft with new mods. Oh, really? Actually. It's like it's sort of the sort of the same ideas and conventions, but you just do it, things a little differently. Yeah, and, and everything just looks a little shinier, or or you know, like different. But I have to say that everything ran really fast. And um, now, <laughs> also, I had to delete over a thousand pictures. <laughs> And a couple of Minecraft uh, post show videos. I was like, in order I want, to put the VM on I, my, I want you to have at least thirty five gigs free. You yeah. need to clean. Up, you need to clean up. Yeah, so I had to clean up. But um, anyway, so the first thing I tried to do was um, get X Chat because I'm like, oh, I need my IRC fix. And this is interesting. So the first thing you did is you went to go try to download X Chat from, from their website, Firefox, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. Scroll it over a little bit so people can, or scroll the window down a little bit so people can see it there. But yeah, that's. I guess um, that's a very natural thing to think. Oh yeah, I want X Chat. How did you know to go get X Chat? Have you just heard me mention it before? Okay, so you well, uh, you I, googled and, XChat. And I happen to know, yeah, I happen to know that it runs on Linux. So you googled so for googled XChat, XChat and you found an RPM. Well, which, yeah, it went, yeah, which by the way, RPM stands for Red Hat Package Manager. <laughs> <laughs> well, no wonder. <laughs> Yes. So, <laughs> so he didn't see these images beforehand. No. <laughs> so I look like an idiot now. No, no, no. Dude, don't feel bad. I think that's completely normal for somebody coming to Linux for the first time. Okay. Where you went wrong, to tell you the truth, is you should have gone to the software center. Well, which I did. Uh, well, except before. Well, okay, yeah. I did I did end up going there. And oh, let's okay. see. What is my next picture? Oh, yeah. That's how you I got went Pigeon. I got Pigeon. Mm-hmm, and you found that. So did you. But I see you did first Google it. Like yes, you were about to go try to download it. Yeah. yeah. Well, see, yeah, I have 10 best instant messengers. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Download for Ubuntu. And then the Pigeon website actually linked me to the, oh, it okay. opened the software center. Yeah, okay. Which was really neat and very similar to the the way the Apple Store, and iTunes you, Store does. Yeah, that's true. And then you're like, so, oh, okay, there's a software center. Right. And so then after I got that installed, um, I was shocked to find that I could add not just my instant messenger, I added Bonjour immediately so I could instant message yeah. him and be like, I need help. Yeah. Um, but I added IRC too, which is so neat. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's what I'm doing right here. You know, I use Colloquy 
for IRC and I use iChat for um, Instant Messenger. Mm -hmm. I, I actually, I don't, I don't think, well, anyway, it was really cool to have it all in one. Yeah, that, I uh, and, and uh, I, I know we were talking about it briefly, that menu there where it has a little, uh, it took you a little bit to find that, the little mail envelope to, you like, yeah. you were like, once Pigeon was installed, you weren't sure how to activate it. Right. But once you found that menu where you had all your online accounts mm -hmm. and all that stuff, that really worked really well, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And uh, really how did you did. find like uh, using the the big Ubuntu menu, like that big dash menu that comes up? Um, you know, I this one. I this. didn't really use it. You didn't try this very much. No, um, no, not at all. <laughs> really? Yeah. Because they had the basics. In I the... looked at it, but I didn't use it. Was that because they had the basics in the launch bar? The basics were in the launch bar, and I also accessed it uh, through my home folder. Oh, I access yeah. stuff through my home folder. So you would sort of like the here's, Mac, you would launch like the file yeah. browser. Here's what I found interesting is that I can't find applications from here. No, you can't. And I think that is great for uh, new, like uh, basic users. Yes. Yeah. yeah, because it's really confusing. It, well, this is just your yeah. stuff right here. This is yeah. your home folder. It's just your stuff. Yeah. And that was, I thought that was really neat. Um, yeah. Let's see what other picture I have here. Oh. Right. Well, I'll save that for, okay. s for yeah. in a second. But okay. Some of my other notes included. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. I liked the dock off to the side. Yeah. I thought that was on really the left -hand a side? convenient use of space. I often hear people wish they could put it on the bottom. So it's interesting. No. Okay. No. Okay. I, and I and I run OS ten, so I you know I thought anyway. How did you feel like? Uh, did you feel like you were stranded? Like you needed some sort of application desperately or anything like that? No. No, because there was the word um, thing. LibreOffice. Yeah. And. Um, uh, here's what uh, what was really neat was I was able to access Google obviously through Firefox, um, so I had my Google Docs and it really like cloud services could really make Linux a viable option yeah. for users uh, yeah, for new or new or inexperienced users. You just need the web browser. Yeah. 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 It's kind of like hmm. It's not like well okay. It's like the dummy terminals of today it kind of is it's sort of like it's like terminal services in a way it's right. remote yeah it is it's the you run it in the cloud and if it's google docs it's the same google docs editor whether it's uh like linux or or mac or whatever mm -hmm. yeah and then you have dropbox and you can move files between right. machines it, it does make it a lot easier yeah and since yeah so um, you, you would say it was much better than years ago when you tried before oh i don't even really remember that too much but yeah well i remember being frustrated a lot yeah. um yeah. but yeah and uh i like the window resizer icon yeah the, the, you're talking <laughs> it's nice like and uh, big and it's easy to you like how well uh, when you like the and you like probably yeah. a little transparent yep. like box it does yep. that, yeah. i like that yeah. um let's see i like okay i mentioned the pigeon doing i am an irc that's well, epic well do you want to uh walk me through how uh somebody might want to set up ubuntu okay or, I'm, not, I'm sorry not minecraft. Ubuntu. minecraft it's this is there's of course minecraft really if you have java you can just go download from the website and run it but there is another way to get minecraft working yep. on uh, at least ubuntu that's actually kind of neat mm -hmm. all right so tell me about it okay so you will go to the uh software center all right so I, i'll fire up my uh software center here now yeah, all right and type minecraft Let's search for Minecraft. Okay. All right. I see MC Launcher, right? Yep. yep. Now it's two ninety nine. Right. So some be be advised, it is two ninety nine. I've already bought it for the purposes of this demonstration. Right. So uh, I'll go ahead and uh, launch it now. Okay. So I see it launched uh, this so, program called MC Launcher. Yeah. So you can easily get to the Java website. Ah, download and install Java. So you hit yeah. that. And oh, right and look at this. It just launches the software center for me. Yeah. So now it takes me right to the Java. Java 6, which right now um, Java 7 is available too, but apparently... No worky uh, with Minecraft? Well, I don't know if it worky or not, but I already had Java 7, but I still had to get 6. Okay, so install Java. Yeah, so, it's interesting that it takes you to 6 when both are available in the repo. Yeah. Uh, so Okay, so I hit. Uh, so I would install that if I hadn't installed it already. Uh-oh. Is it crashed? Oh, there it goes. Nope. And then uh, you can, you download from Minecraft.net, yep. which okay. uh, I believe grabs the jar. Yep, and then I have to locate it. Yep. Okay. I just threw it on my desktop. Oh, I see it, put it right at the root of my home folder there. Okay. Okay, and then you have to, in the minimum and maximum RAM, if you hover over it, just uh, hover over the bottom one, it tells you what the default should be. 1024? Yeah, 1024. So you enter okay. that into both fields. Um, okay. You'd think that you could just skip that yeah, and, yeah. <laughs> and just hit go, but you can't. You got to put it in there. What so. I like is look at this. Yeah, if you already have Minecraft, they just have an easily like locate mod yep. and install mod. That's yep. nice. Yep, that is nice. All right, so then I just say run, run Minecraft. Minecraft. Yep. There we go. Okay, I'm running now. Minecraft was not installed on this computer before we did this. So there you go. There's Minecraft now. I don't know if I remember my. Uh, I could see. I don't. I don't. I don't. Uh, it is. It is. Is uh, it that one? 
The yep. one I was about to type, the one yeah. that you know, geez, that's crazy, you know, just yes. from the. All right. So there you go. So now I'm downloading Minecraft. There we go. So that's really Super crazy easy. easy. And if you like to do the mod stuff like you like to do, that's probably a nice way to do that. So uh, there you go. So now if I remembered what the Jupiter Colony uh, <laughs> Minecraft server was, I could connect MC. to it. MC.JupiterColony.com. MC.JupiterColony.com. Yep. So very cool. So now I'm Minecraftable. Yep. So that's easy. Um, and yep. Here is in your, in your, in your, in your, what that right yeah there. yeah so there you are and and you had a little bit you had a little bit of trouble playing but that was because of a VM oh yeah, yeah. I was playing in a VM and it was not working too yeah. well the mouse kept shooting me up to the ceiling anyway um okay there you go I was starting to play Minecraft I probably shouldn't do yeah, that yeah no you shouldn't should we remind right. people about uh, the uh, I uh, want to talk about this for a second okay. So oh oh because oh, you did that in Linux yeah yeah so I did a little project in Linux and it happened to be the show teaser for today mm-hmm. <laughs> oh yeah um so I did this in uh, Scribus uh, yeah Scribulus oh, it might be Scribus no it's not Ulus Scribus it's, Scribus it's S C R I B U S now how did you get that and find that I went to the um, software center and I searched for scrapbooking <laughs> really well because I was gonna see if there's like some sort of girly mom so at this point you'd learned I do. need to use software center that's the easiest way right. to find stuff yeah yeah, yeah. and okay. uh, so I was looking for something and then I saw that I'm like hey you know what hey you know what? I can make a, a really neat teaser for the show hey, you put me in a mohawk I mean well I didn't do that I bet the phone no, see what I did I didn't um oh you just create put it together. any of these images I just put them together <laughs> all right, right well I'm some I'm somewhat not as impressed but I'll still I know you- right um but I did like I don't know it, it it was a bit of a learning curve yeah but you got far I enough got I mean you managed to do it and save it out as an image and then yep that's not bad yep it's not bad and uh, you know look at me I'm uh I'm over playing Minecraft, Minecraft now, <laughs> so uh, I'm yeah. nice. I'm all set. I, I generated a random world, and I got snow, and I love snow. And look, look, there's an animal down there. Yeah, it's a wolf. Hit it. Oh, okay. Now it's got red eyes. Oh, now it's yeah, good. it's attacking you. So, um, <laughs> oh geez, next month's award show. He's got wolf buddies. He's got wolf buddies, Ange. <laughs> oh no, am I gonna die from wolves? Okay, keep next going. Next month's award show. I want to find out. <laughs> How you found Jupiter Broadcasting. Oh God, there's three of them now. And a lot of people actually found us through the Linux Action Show. So it's kind of uh, kind of neat that this is the Linux Action foe asking you how you found Jupiter Broadcasting. So you can email. <laughs> You're in the water dying. How do I go up? How do I get up? What do I? Ah, <laughs> uh, dang it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you... <laughs> He hasn't played Minecraft in a while. No. Um, okay. Email Angela at jupiterbroadcasting.com. Tell us how you found the network. Maybe if you remember which episode or show yep. brought you in or topic. Some of it's sort of like... Uh, what hooked you? We're kind of just doing like an informal market research, I suppose, They're in some moving. sense. They're still chewing on my dead body. <laughs> That's These are wolves. Uh, and it's just a fun way to, uh, you know, just see what you guys like. Mm-hmm. So yep. email those to Angela at jupiterbroadcasting.com. And also, just a reminder, if you'd like to grab the Jupiter Signal, go over to bit.ly slash Jupiter Signal. Mm-hmm. That's our monthly newsletter. We promise not to spam, but we have some fun <laughs> stuff planned for this month's edition. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go grab it. One email per month. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. All right. That's it for this episode of the Linux Action Foe. We'll see you next week. Don't forget, you can catch recent episodes of The Faux Show on jupiterbroadcasting.com slash faux show. Also, get them on demand in the iTunes store. Search for Faux Show.